at a cemetery in Lawrence has been condemned almost a year after 7 News told you about people with loved ones there who said the building was in desperate need of repairs. 7 News' Melanie Palmer tells us what kind of repairs they say are needed and what the company behind it says is the holdup. A story you'll only see on 7 News. A condemned sign in this caution tape now surrounds the mausoleum at the Forest Lawn Cemetery here in Lawrence. People who have loved ones inside of here tell us they hope this means change is finally here. A quiet and tranquil resting place. My wife don't want to be buried in the ground and dirt. So sure enough, I bought them two spots under number seven and eight. At least that's what David Owens and his wife thought. So they reserve spots for their final resting places. Friends and family buried here. Inside its walls, close friends who have passed away. The star over it was over it. It's not up there anymore. By highway, done blowed off. It's cracked all the way down. Also in there, Owen says, are cracks, leaks, water damage, and a deteriorating roof. You hate to disrupt what was buried. And there was water running down the fronts of the crypts. This was last October when Seven News reported on those same concerns. At that time, a spokesperson with the company that owns the cemetery said they were hoping to have their repairs done shortly. They had to keep complaining about the same thing over and over. But fast forward to now, Bess Caldwell says she is still looking at the same disheartening site that houses five of her loved ones, and it's reserved for a sixth. They just told me a few minutes ago that if something were to happen to her, she's 92, that they're not going to let anyone be put in the mausoleum. That's because it's been condemned. The Lawrence County attorney tells 7 News he's been working with the owners of the property to fix it. And now that they've condemned it, repairs will be needed in order for it to reopen. Yeah, all these veterans is buried here. But until then, people like Caldwell are stuck thinking of something they never imagined. This is where they chose to be and this is where they paid for. Finding another resting place for their loved ones. I really don't know. And themselves. When all these repairs will happen, a spokesperson with the company who owns it couldn't say. They did tell 7 News, though, the blueprints for the reconstruction have been finalized and they're hoping to get started very soon. In Lawrence, Melanie Palmer, 7 News.